three, two, one, let's go. What's going on, my beautiful channel family? Today is January the 18th, and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel, back with a video. Family, I love you, and I want to thank you for all the love and support of this channel. Now, if you're new to our channel, I want to welcome you to our channel, and know this, on this channel, we know we're living in the end times, and we're watching for the intimate return of Jesus. When that trumpet sounds, we're going to be ready on this channel. Family, the time is fastly approaching, when we will meet the Lord in the air. Keep looking up, we're almost there. Family, that trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, let's go. Okay guys, I pray you're all doing well today, and what we're going to talk about today is a huge sign of the times we're living in. I can't believe that I have to report this. This is going to blow you guys away. But before we get into today's video, let me give you three verses that are very relevant to today's content. Verse 1, Psalm 25, 19. Consider mine enemies, they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. John 15, 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. And finally, 1 John 3, 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. So family, if you're hated for the sake of the gospel, just know Jesus said this would happen. Okay, today we're going to be talking about something that recently went down at the Mall of America in Minnesota. We're going to talk about it, then I'll roll a video so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Wait till you see the video. When I saw it, it gave me mixed emotions. I was hurt. I was upset. I was sad. Now family, I want you to listen to this headline from NowTheEndBegins.com. Man walking through Mall of America wearing a Jesus is the only way shirt was stopped by security guard in order to remove it. Family, all I can say about this is wow. Welcome to End Times America. Alrighty, so on January 7th at the Mall of America, it was like any other day at the mall. People were shopping, the food court was bumping, it was a typical day. But something happened that day that was very shocking. Something happened that truly shows the decline of America. Okay, here we go. So a brother in Christ entered the mall that day, wearing a bright yellow shirt that read, Jesus saves on the front. And Jesus is the only way on the back. And the bright yellow shirt also had the coexist symbol, which represents unity and peace for all religions. And the coexist symbol was crossed out. So the brother in the mall was approached by mall security guards and was told that other shoppers at the Mall of America in Minnesota said they were offended by his shirt. Just wait till you see the video. So the brother tried his best to reason with the guards, telling him that he didn't speak or say anything to anyone in the mall. But the guard wasn't having it. He said that mall policy forbids picketing, demonstrating, soliciting, protesting, or petitioning on the property. And the guard told the man, and I quote, Again, sir, it is religious soliciting. There is no soliciting allowed on the mall property, which is private property. End quote. Now, let me remind you that the man wasn't speaking to anyone. Family, prepare to be shocked. I'm now going to roll the video. I'm sorry if the audio quality is not the best. It's all I could gather for this video. So listen very closely. Check this out. Here's the video. Shop here. You need to take that shirt off. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is, what is wrong with my teeth? Again, sir, it is religious soliciting. There is no soliciting allowed on law property, which is private property. Okay? So again, we've got yes no Exactly. What is wrong with Get off the shop, man. That's all we want. No, I am citizen. I know the Constitution. But you were last time, the last time I was here, they told me to leave for 24 hours. I did. Yes, that day I was preaching. 
Yeah, it's preaching the gospel. God gave. Yeah. You're still soliciting. No. And again, I'm walking. Yes, you're walking wearing that shirt in the form of solicited, and we've had guests come up saying that they've been offended by your shirt. Who will say that. We've had guests come up and say you've been offended. So, like this gentleman just said too, take the shirt off and you can go shopping. That's a simple start. Or thinking. Thinking. Clear. And I don't want to do that. What did I do? Family, welcome to End Times America. Now, this man was served with a 24-hour trespass notice, and on a separate occasion, he was forced to leave the mall for preaching the gospel. So, a spokesman for the Mall of America had this to say about the incident. The spokesman for Mall of America told the Daily Mail that one week prior to the t-shirt incident, the man was issued a 24-hour trespass for soliciting guests. He added also that people were offended by the shirt. They had multiple reports about the shirt. Now, family, this story really exposes the moral and religious decay of the United States of America. If the gospel of Jesus offends you, then so be it. Deal with it. Here in America, we're supposed to have religious freedom covered by the First Amendment. Whatever happened to that? You know what? If I was in the mall that day, I guarantee you I could pick out a lot more shirts that were a lot more vulgar and offensive. There is nothing offensive about Jesus saves. It's the facts. It's the truth. The blood of Jesus does save. Family, do you see the way the enemy is coming for the gospel of Jesus? I'm going to tell you something. You can beat me. You can hurt me. You can do whatever you want. But until the day I draw my last breath or that trumpet sounds, I will stand my ground and I will defend the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what's really sad? Past couple of decades, American society has declined so much it's not even funny. Family, keep looking up. We're going home soon. Let's go. I mean, guys, just look around this world we're living in. It's never been more apparent. That we are truly living in the biblical last days. Everything that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return is all happening in this generation. It's all converging in this generation. The fig tree generation. The generation that shall not pass away. And my beautiful family, that's why the message of the gospel is so important in these end times. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Now, family, what we've seen a lot of in these end times is man's coming along, they're twisting the gospel, and they want to add works to it. And guys, it just don't work that way, no pun intended. So, according to scripture found in our Bible, Jesus was born of a virgin, and Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus lived his entire life without ever once sinning. That's why Jesus was the perfect sacrifice for the remission of our sin debt. And when Jesus was 30 years old, he began his earthly ministry. And in three years, he changed this entire world forever. And family, he did. Because here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still singing praises to our Jesus. And at the age of 33, in the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see, Jesus was nailed on that cross. Jesus had a crown of thorns shoved upon his head. Jesus was beaten in front of his mother. Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for remission of our sins, my sins, your sins, that mall cop sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. Then Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, guys, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Then Jesus ascended to go be with the Father, and on this channel and many other channels, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13 blessed hope. And Bible prophecy and world events is literally declaring the soon and enemy return of our Messiah Jesus. Family, stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up, because I promise you, our redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming soon. Let's go.
Well, my beautiful channel family, I want to thank you for watching. I'm going to ask that you please share this video if you can. Help me get the word out about what happened at the mall. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps us out so much. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer... If you have any prayer requests whatsoever, please drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, we'd be honored to pray of your prayer request. And if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email me at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com and we'll get a free Bible out to you as soon as we can. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Please include a shipping address and give us up to a week to get back to you, but we will respond to your email. Just give us a little time. And if you feel led to contribute to either the homeless outreach or to the Bible ministry, please check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. All contributions either go to the Bible ministry or to the homeless outreach. Please pray about it first. We got a day trip planned this weekend to go pass out Hope Bags. And the weekend after that, we're going to hit three cities in three days. So please keep us in your prayers. Well, my beautiful channel family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one, let's go.